The in center of a triangle is the point at which the angle bisectors intersect. The in center is the center of the inscribed circle of that triangle. To find the in center of this triangle, we need to bisect all of the angles. If you need a review on how to construct the bisector of an angle, please watch an earlier posted video. I've constructed each of the angle bisectors in a different color so you could see the construction marks. And this point here is the in-center. Now the reason it's called the in-center is because it is the center of a circle that is inscribed in the triangle. Now the problem is I can't just take my compass and put the center here and just kind of eye it. I can't, you know, I can say, oh, this looks kind of like the radius. We'll use that. You can't do that because that would not be a construction. So what we have to do is we have to construct the radius, which is the perpendicular segment from the in center to one of the sides. To construct a perpendicular segment from the in center to one of the sides, I need to take my compass and I need to mark off two arcs. Put it on each of those points of intersection and I'm going to draw an arc below from both of those points of intersection and that intersection of those two arcs along with the point will give me a perpendicular segment. So I'm going to draw the perpendicular segment but I'm just going to make this dotted below here because I'm not really interested in the, the full perpendicular segment. I'm really just interested in this much from the in center to the edge because that's the perpendicular part that will give me the radius. So to finish my circle, I'm going to take my compass. I'm going to put the center at the in center. I'm going to adjust the compass so that it measures the length of my radius and I'm going to draw my circle. The circle that I draw is called the in circle because it is inscribed in that triangle. And now as a final comment, the in circle will always be in the interior of the triangle.